my channel. So today is actually our early Valentine's Day celebration because Valentine's Day will be next week on a Tuesday and I don't upload on a Tuesday so how are we gonna get Valentine's Day content? So today I have kind of cheated the system, but not really because these are called three ingredient cake mix cookies. I have actually seen this everywhere. So I've seen Tasty do it. I've seen it on loads of other cooking places cooking places, cooking like websites. So I've seen people do this with red velvet cake mix, lemon cake mix, chocolate, which I would like to try in the future. But today I wanted to go with Funfetti. Funfetti, it's got fun in the name. Exactly, how can it not be fun? <laughs> You're probably wondering, how are we making these cookies with three ingredients? Well, we're gonna show you what you need, but the main ingredient is actually this cake mix. Extra stuff for like decoration is like added ingredients. Decoration is not ingredients. Ingredients are something that go in things. True, not decoration is things. fun. Yes. So technically three ingredients. So three ingredients, Fun. Mm -hmm. So now is the time we're gonna show you what we're gonna be using to make these lovely little cookies. We've decided to go with this rainbow chip party cake mix, but I mean, Betty Crocker, I don't know why she'd want to just call it Funfetti. Or is Funfetti like trademarked by Pillsbury? Maybe. But of course we will not be following these steps. These instructions are useless to us. So the ingredients you're gonna need are one third cup of vegetable oil. And we're also gonna need two eggs. Some extra things we'll need are are a baking tray with, that made so much noise, a baking <laughs> tray with parchment paper on it. Also going to need a big mixing bowl to mix these things in. We're going to be using a wooden spoon to actually mix it up inside the bowl. And we're going to be using these two spoons to scoop them out and pop them onto our little parchment paper over here. And then for a little bit of fun, we wanted to decorate the cookies. So we got this unicorn vanilla flavor icing. Look at that color, very pink, very Valentine's Day. And then these pink and gold sprinkles. So I'm really excited to use these. Step one is to actually preheat our oven to 375 Fahrenheit which I don't know what that is Which in Celsius. Which is uh, about 190, 190-ish. Okay. Thank you for right. being here, Mr. Subverto. Okay. Should I go and do that? Yes. It is now my best <laughs> to leave to heat the oven. Step number two is while your oven is preheating, we're gonna mix the box mix, the oil, and two eggs. You know what? This brings back such good memories. I cannot remember the last time I had a Funfetti cake. I don't know if I ever have. Wait. Okay. I don't think I've ever had this. In Dubai, like, I would always make Funfetti cupcakes or, like, one big cake. Wow. So, look, it's, like, got fun colours in. Like, it's... Con fun confetti. Confetti, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> smell it. It's very it sweet. Smells. Very sweet. Oh, the smell of my childhood. So now we're going to crack two eggs to put them into here. So I'll pick these two. Good choice. I don't know, will it crack on this plastic? Ah, I was very confident it would. <gasps> you look at the camera while you did it. <laughs> What's happening here? Wow, luckily there was no shell in there. Can you believe I have an egg every morning for breakfast? I can actually crack an egg really well. And now to pour in one third cup oh of vegetable oil. In it goes. And now step three is to mix it all together, but it says don't over stir it. It says just mix them until it's moistened. Let's give it a go. Would you like to start? No, you start with oh, the bowl. Thanks. It looks very fun, Fetty. <laughs> very fun and very Fetty. Doesn't it smell so good? It does smell Doesn't it smell like, I don't know, I guess I was gonna say, does this smell like your childhood? It smells like fruity though. But mm, I think it smells like very sweet. When I tell you I'm excited, I'm so excited. What if now that I'm older, I don't like Funfetti as much? Nah, impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Not an option. You are doing great. Thank you, it's very Look hard. Look at that. I think that's pretty much yeah, that's perfect. perfect. Done. And not over mixed or anything. No, not over mixed. <laughs> so step number four. So you're gonna take your mix and roll it into one inch balls ish, you know, as, as accurate as you can be. And then you're going to place them two inches apart on an ungreased baking tray with parchment paper. Yes, so I'm going to go get that now. Okay, so I'm back with the baking tray with parchment paper. I did see a hack that apparently an ice cream scoop is the best way to do cookies, but obviously I wasn't that prepared, no. so we actually don't have one. No. But, you know, we'll make do and it'll be fine. Wow, that looks pretty good. Cute. I 
as you can see, we actually ran out of baking trays. So we put them in these brownie pans and maybe that's a terrible idea, but we'll soon see. Ta-da! So this is what we've done so far. Like I said, we ran out of a baking tray. So I just put them into these brownie trays. So we'll see what happens. We improv and I think it's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. So step five is to actually flatten these cookies a little bit until they're like, what, a quarter inch thick? Yes. So that's what we're doing now. And we're done with that step. And now step six is to actually put these in the oven and it says to bake them for around six to eight minutes or until the edges are golden brown. This is what they're looking like after six minutes. They smell so good. Ta-da! Wow! I think they look really nice. They smell amazing. Obviously from what you saw, there are a lot more cookies in the kitchen, but as you can see, we just wanted to decorate four. I have a proposition for you. Ooh, okay. We can either take a bite out of one without frosting and see what they taste like, or just wait until they're completed. Frosted. Okay. Let's wait. Okay, so we will not be trying until they're all done. As we saw before, we have this type of vanilla frosting and then the sprinkles are very cute as well. Can she get it? Oh! This color is so pretty. It says at the back that you should stir the icing before using it. That looks so good. I don't know if it's just because it's such a beautiful color. Like it's just vanilla frosting. No, it's because I'm very talented at stirring. But the stirring. color looks so nice. I thought that these little pink plates were very cute to suit the theme of Valentine's Day. I know a lot of people are like, oh, but isn't red for Valentine's Day? Well, I wore red last year for Valentine's Day. So today we're going with the other Valentine's color, pink. On Valentine's, we wear pink. How nice is the color? Isn't the color so nice? They look so cute. Oh mm. my God. Very Valentine's. Ta-da! Here is what Cal has made. Cal, would you like to break us down? Uh, yes, of yeah. course. Here is vanilla splat, uh -huh. as I call it. And um, this is a C. Um, here is a love heart, because I love you and it's Valentine's Day. Thank so you. So you get a love heart. Thank you. And this was my more artistic one. I call it splat two. Well, this was my splat. Oh, nice. And then a smiley <laughs> face. Like that. This was meant to be a rose. It actually really looks like and a rose. And then those things are like, you know, the leaves on the rose. It looks pretty good. And then here's a heart, because I love you. I I think we did a really good job. The icing was maybe a little thick. It and was. Upon looking, there were a few instructions on the back that we hadn't necessarily looked at. But, but it's fine. we made the best of a tough situation. When we took them out, they have this really beautiful like cake consistency. And I know that sounds stupid because yeah, it's a cake mix. It like pulls apart. Kind like, of like a, a Domino's cookie. See. Look at that. Jeez. Are you ready? Oh. Very sweet, but Reminds me of my childhood. Mm, powerful funfetti flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm super impressed. Like mm. this is everything you want in a cookie in terms of like soft and gooey on the inside, like a cake, but then like still that crisp, you know? Crisp on the edges. Yeah. It's nice. I really like this. Me too. How many times have you seen me take a second bite of something we've made? Probably never. Mm. Mm. What a success. I'm very impressed. Maybe I'm most successful yet. Now, I know you're probably expecting the end of the video, the old see you when I see you, mm -mm -mm. but how dare you think we would only make circle cookies on Valentine's Day. Oh no, we made a behemoth heart. A heart. And it's big. She big. She big. We got a big heart. We didn't know if this would work. Basically, it beautiful. everything that we had left, because there was still some left over because we ran out of space, I just made it into one giant ball, splattered it, and was like, yeah. ooh. Cut it into, into a little love heart shape and it came out looking like one, which is quite impressive. I think it came out perfect. So we're going to give it a little decorate mm -hmm. together as a Valentine's Day game. <laughs>
I think we're now both realizing that we have two big holes in our piping bags. Yeah. We're gonna have a really small one this time. Right? We're making great work with it. Look at this. So this is what we decided to do with our big heart. So we've got M plus C with another little heart and then two kisses because it's a Valentine's Day. <laughs> so overall, this was really good. Huge success. Yeah, this is definitely a three ingredient one that I would want to make again. Like I said, I do want to make it with chocolate cake mm. mix. I think this is exactly how I envisioned it going. In my head, I was like, this is how it's going to look. Right? But once it did. I wanted like a whole pink theme for Valentine's Day. Well, pinky purple. And I got it. Even though we're spending Valentine's Day day at home in lockdown this was really nice yeah i really enjoyed myself yeah me too leave me a comment if you have ever made cake mix cookies and until next time i will see you when i see you